Me did the yan yan touch you are, and maybe I'm discovered for you, Pacum Busia for Wagana. No, me used to tap tap send. Everybody check now. Check it. Fat check it. Fat check it. Check it. Huh. The beat is real. Don't wear me to kill ya. Yeah. Get your green cell, let grow to me. And check it. Sugar level, check it, check it. Fat check it, check it. For check it, for check it, check it, check it. Reset let go, come it. For check it, for check it, check it, check it. Who sugar never for check it? For check it, check it, check it. For check it, for check it, check it, check it. Reset let go, come it. Everybody check now. This advert has been vetted and approved by the FDA. Any other will tell you that before they used to burn the skin of onion. Mm -hmm. In fact, any woman that is listening to me today and will cook for the husband, the onion that the husband gives her money, she buy, and then she does not burn the skin of the onion. She put it in water and throw it away. You know, normally we throw this in yeah, away. Yeah. That woman is not fit to be under the marriage. That woman's supposed to be sacked. Wait, wait. I, I want to understand this very well because uh, we have all seen this. <laughs> we have all seen this happening. <laughs> One thing in this world that you should never stop looking for is knowledge and information. Today, we are about to have a conversation that is going to be based on the knowledge that you have never sought for. It is something that you thought it was normal. It is something that you never imagined because in the kitchen, you use, you use it. Anytime you go somewhere to eat, you say, Mommy, eh, Jenny Nikakra. But you never knew there were some mysteries or better still, some spiritualities behind the use of the onion substance. Today, we are about to seek knowledge, and that is what I want you to do. But let's get the background of uh, our guest today here on the show. It is the real talk on Sami Flex TV. Big man, welcome to Sami Flex you, TV. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. We are so proud to have met you. Yes. We have been following you, all the exploits that have been doing on yeah. other YouTube channels. Yeah. But we are also proud to have you here. Thank Let's you. get to know a little bit about you, yeah. then we can start talking. Okay. Now, um, my name is Bishop Dr. Sam David. Mm -hmm. I'm an Ewe from uh, precisely Akachi, mm -hmm. that is Vota region. Uh, I am a founder of Solution Center and Herbal Church. Okay. Uh, that is one year old now, Okay. Uh, when the ministry started. Uh, so I deal with her as well. Mm -hmm. um, I'm the last born of uh, Togbi Agbi the third. Mm. He's a chief of uh, Akachi Luma. Okay. I happen to be the last born of him. Uh, he passed on the 2012th. Mm -hmm. My mother is alive today. Uh, so because it has been prophesied that I will be a pastor, mm -hmm. and then today I am here as a pastor. Mm. But I mostly use this herbal thing, a mystery what is hidden mm. uh, to, to solve people's problem. Mm. So if you're here, this is Bishop Sam David for you. Mm. I happen to be a teacher. I was once a teacher. Mm. But because of a, this work... A trained teacher? Yes, a trained teacher. Wow. But uh, because of this work, I resigned and then I'm now doing God's work. I see. Yeah. So for the past one year, yeah. you've been doing this. What yeah. are some of the achievements that you can share with us? Okay, as to um, the ministry, the achievement happened to be that... Uh, especially our brothers and sisters mm -hmm. that are outside. Oh, okay. Through me, God has been helping them a lot, mm -hmm. a lot. And uh, I think that is all. That mm. is all that I have mm. so far. Yeah, that helping, helping people, humanity. Yes, helping humanity. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so now you know um, who we are about to talk to. Someone who has been blessed with rich knowledge in uh, tradition, in history, mm. and again in religion as well. And that is what we are going to learn. Um, I know that maybe you've never paid attention to this that much. You only know about it in the kitchen. You only know that, okay, when I want to cook the best of meals, I have to use the onion. But today we are about to show you some mysteries, some spiritualities in the onion. And that is what Bishop Sam David is about to take us through. I thought the onion is just something in the kitchen. Yes. But um, some mysteries are behind it. Sure. What are we to know about the onion? Wow, Mr. Sam, thank you very much. And uh, it's my happy to bring to your viewers to know the mystery behind onion. Mm -hmm. Because many, we know that this is used for food. Mm -hmm. Spices to, mm -hmm. to make the food taste and all that mm. 
But our old people, our forefathers, mm -hmm. they've been using this to achieve a lot of things. Okay. But those things are lost today. When you go to John 20, 30. Uh, Which the, is in the Bible. In the Bible. Mm. The, the Bible says that there are a lot of things that are not written in the Bible. The Bible categorically mentioned a lot of things which are not written in the Bible. When he continued to tell he says that if these things were to be written in the Bible, mm -hmm. the world could mm -hmm. not contain it. Mm. Which means the Bible is good though, but the, the other things which are not written are even more than those in the Bible. That is why you see nowadays that people, excuse me to say, people who doesn't go to church, mm -hmm. mostly they prosper. But uh, people who goes to church, the prosperity is low. Then we say, okay, uh, it is the world. Mm -hmm. Because what is in the world, they are more than what is in the Bible. And Christians fail to dig outside the Bible. To find out the Good. Things. So we, we live within the perimeters of the Bible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, the Bible even told us that Jesus Christ said he's going. Mm -hmm. And he's bringing a brother. That brother is a teacher. Mm -hmm. He will help you to teach mm. things that you do not know. No. It means that there are certain mysteries that we are yet to discover. Mm -hmm. Now, this onion as we see. Mm -hmm. And uh, let me confirm if it is the normal onions yes. we use mm. in our kitchen. Good, okay. good. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. It is the normal one. Yeah. Uh, that, that is confirmed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that is it, the normal one. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm, mm. With this one, a prophet will not tell you, a bishop will not tell you, because Bible says Aqua and Senira. So when he begin to reveal this mystery to you, meaning you two you will be out of his feet, but he will use it to his benefit. What am I trying to say? Our elders, mm -hmm. when they want to travel, tomorrow they are traveling to Kumasi, mm -hmm. or they are picking a plane, anywhere. Mm -hmm. They don't just go to a spiritual person to consult. They consult themselves. If the traveling will be successful or not. Mm. If accident will happen or not. Mm. By the use of onion. The normal onion. The no normal the one onion. we buy from the market. Yes. <laughs> I see. So this is practical. I am not saying, sir, somebody will say it is a lie. It is something which is very common. So you just have to practice it. There that you not know. You, there that you know. You know. Now, this onion, mm -hmm. you put it in a white handkerchief. Any hang, hang, white handkerchief? Anything white. Mm -hmm. Then you said, okay, I'm going to Kumasi. Mm -hmm. I want to see how the way will be. Mm -hmm. Whether accident, no accident, the car will get spoiled, whatever. Then you fold it, put it under your pillow, sleep over it. You will travel before the day comes. So you will see everything in your dream. When you put this onion, yeah. you will not do anything to it. Oh, no, no, no. no. The normal one, you pick a white handkerchief yes. and you put it into the hand, hand, yeah. white handkerchief. Yeah. You put it under your pillow, yeah. you sleep on it. That's all. And whatever that will happen on the journey, it is revealed to you. You don't mean this. Now with this one, <laughs> before I come to church every day, tomorrow will be a church service. Yeah. So before I sleep tonight, mm -hmm. I have to put this in onto only, uh, a white handkerchief, mm -hmm. sleep over it. It gives me pre-information on what is coming to happen tomorrow. So when I come, my teaching, my preaching, everything as if say, I was in your house. Yes. It gives prophetic dreams. Onion. Do I have to maybe be a believer of something to see that dream? Or I can just be an ordinary guy, that guy who drinks alcohol, that guy who smokes, that guy who even slept with a woman before coming. Can I just be any ordinary guy and I'll see that thing? I love the question. This is a super question. Mm. Now, Sammy Flesh, mm -hmm. we know about Pepe. Mm -hmm. If I give a Pepe, to let's say unbeliever mm -hmm. and the same pepper to the believer. Mm -hmm. How would they, I, I, when I say chew the pepper, is any one of them going to chew the pepper and will say, I don't feel the taste of the pepper? No, the they burning of the it. pepper? They all feel it. That is the work of the pepper. So you don't need to pray over the pepper. 
That is it work. So with this one, whether you are a drunkard, mm -hmm. you are a witch, mm -hmm. you are whatever, if you do it, you are going to get it. That is it work. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I've answered your yeah, question. Yeah, you've answered me. That is it work. I'm asking because right after here, mm -hmm. I want to start practicing it. Nice one. Maybe after here, I might go to sit at a pub with my friends. Mm -hmm. I might do some things. Yes. So I don't want to do it and I wake up and say, oh, because you drank alcohol, that's why I did not see it. it. Did. No, 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 no. It is not. So. Anybody at all. Anybody at all. No. One I wanted, and we have certain things which is of which faith can be used for. Yeah. We have certain things which need no faith. Mm -hmm. It happened in the Bible, in the area of uh, the, the woman whose blood was oozing out for 12 years. Mm -hmm. It takes the woman's faith for mm -hmm. the blood to stop. Yeah. But it does not take the faith of Lazarus to rise from the dead. Mm -hmm. Because Lazarus died. Yeah. He cannot hear. Mm -hmm. But when Jesus came, he raised up. Mm -hmm. So it didn't take Lazarus' faith. Mm -hmm. But it took the faith of the 12 years blood woman. Mm -hmm. So we have certain things which are faith. We have certain things not faith. So you cannot tell me that because I drink alcohol, I am unbeliever. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, okay, let me tell you. You cannot tell me you are archbishop. Mm -hmm. You speak with the angels. Mm -hmm. So if you drink car battery acid, it will not kill you. Mm -hmm. It will kill you. Exactly. That is its work. Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying is that uh, it does not matter the sin you have committed. If you commit a sin, sin will kill you. Mm -hmm. If you have not done certain things very well, let's say you are going around flirting uh, uh, with women, flirting with women. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, uh, diseases like HIV, AIDS, mm. uh, sexually transmitted, and the rest, mm -hmm. that is the sin that the person has paid. Mm. Mm. Okay? Mm. That is physical. It does, has nothing to do with this kind of things. Mm. There are certain things it's not of any sin. Mm -hmm. This one is a mystery. Okay. If I have a tree down here, anybody that sings anyhow, he can get a cutlet, match it, and then cut that tree down. It will not prevent. Mm. So the mystery in this is what I'm telling you. Okay. Anybody at all can practice it. Okay. And it will work. I see. So if I do it and I don't see anything, what does it mean to me? Okay. Uh, then it's, it's one of the things that I will hear that the person has done, it has not seen anything. Mm -hmm. Doing it without seeing anything, it is one out of hundred. But if you don't see anything to, I will say, repeat it again the following day. Okay. Now we have three, which stand for power and perfection. Mm -hmm. So at least this today, tomorrow, and the third day, if you have not seen anything at all, then I may say the person's spirit is dead completely. Then it means you don't have any spirituality in you. Y yes, not that you don't, but the spirit is dead means that um, you are only working physical. Mm -hmm. You know, when we get to the spiritual realm, before a man dies, mm -hmm. he dies five years ago, mm -hmm. but in he the, still lives on the earth. In the spiritual before realm. a woman dies, he dies three years ago, mm -hmm. he still lives on earth. Mm -hmm. Those times the spirit doesn't work. As to the normal ones, mm, mm, except mm, that one. Mm, mm. And you need to be a spiritual person to know this. Yes. But seeing is believing. So I will urge everybody to practice it. Okay. I didn't say come and take my own. Mm -hmm. So that it will be like I put some power <laughs> in it. In your own. No. I see. Your own onion. I see. So <laughs> is it only about traveling or in every aspect of our life? Even yes. if I'm going to work yes. and I do this, Correct. I'll know what will happen to my work. Yes. If I'm going to discuss a business, I know that I have some top business meeting. Uh, am I going to get a business, the contract or not? If I do this, would I be able to see what will happen? It reveals secret what is coming what is in the spirit that will come tomorrow it reveals it to you in a dream so it is not only about traveling okay it cut across mm, mm, i see now with this onion anybody watching me that you have um, skin rashes mm -hmm. that they have treated for so many years it is not going doctors have tried it it is not going then buy this onion I'll around Once again, any ordinary onion. Yes, 10 or 20. Mm -hmm. Before you are going to sleep, cut it. Mm -hmm. You see the water, mm -hmm. splash it on the, on the, the rashes. Excuse me to say, even some people, male organ, mm -hmm. they have rashes there. Mm. You, you use the water over it. The uh, water, the juice from the... The juice. Yes. Do that for me. I give you about four. 
at least a week. If it does not go completely, you will see 50% change. Wow. That is the onion. This onion, our elders, when they are hunters, this is not Busumana Bibio. Because if it is me that you are taking it from, that is why you have the perception, say, Busum. By your own onion. It means there is a mystery in this. Mm -hmm. That is what the Bible says, lack of knowledge, my people, people perish. perish. This one, our forefathers, when they are going to the bush to hunt, they pick one and put it in the pocket. Just to scare away snakes. Mm. I think I've heard yes. snakes and onions before. That's to scare away snakes. That is it. Now this one, when they marry, what they do is that when they marry, the two couples are moving. Mm -hmm. They hire somebody who carry the onion. And as if he's throwing a stone against them. Mm -hmm. He throws it, but with intention, don't hit the, he shouldn't hit the couples. Mm -hmm. When you throw it and the onion moved and stopped, it binds the marriage and no devil, no separation. So I urge all the pastors that after uh, 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 putting or joining the couples together, mm -hmm. you do that so that uh, the four certain things will not continue to be in the system. Mm -hmm. I see. And this should be done in the church everywhere there is a marriage ceremony. Oh, yes. After the marriage, just through the, uh, the uh, onion, onion in yes. their direction. Yes. Now, Bible, uh, Psalm 115, verse 5, uh, Psalm 115, verse 5, mm -hmm. Bible explain what Busum of God's is. Mm -hmm. he, he said, they are mixed, but we did it ourselves. And then he said that they have ears, but they cannot hear. They cannot hear, yeah. They have eyes, they cannot see. Mm. Now, so this one, it's different from that one in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see this one again. Anybody mm -hmm. that there is a witch and there is witchcraft too. Seriously. Now, anybody that says that there is a witchcraft in his life or her life, he start a work, it doesn't go on. Mm -hmm. And then you do, is you, you believe, maybe it is your auntie, or anybody, mm. relative. Mm. Then do this one. Don't mention anybody's name. This is what our elders do to see a manifestation. To see whoever is in their life. Mm -hmm. So you get pin. This one, 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 fifty. There's a needle. Yeah, mm. needle. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you. One, 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 fifty. Mm -hmm. Not less, not more. Fifty. Fifty. Okay. Now, you, you wake up one day, you pick onion, you said, oh, every week I start, I don't see. Money comes into my hand, but it vanishes. When I go to work, no promotion. I don't see a better work to do. I am looking for visa. I don't get it. Anybody, if it is my destiny, fine. But if somebody is responsible of that, then today I inject you with this needle. That's one. Mm -hmm. Some of you, with this one, did you say come to me before? Mm -hmm. I said do it yourself. Do it in your home. Yes. Anybody you repeat till all the 50 pin finishes, then you put it on your window. Mm -hmm. Now, the mystery is any spirit that is in your life visit you or monitor you 24 7. Mm -hmm. And it is window that they pass or they use to monitor you, mm -hmm. it is not the entrance. So you put it at your window. Sammy Flesh, if somebody don't fall sick at your house, your home, anybody. Mm -hmm. Then come and tell me I'm lying. I see. If somebody is in your life, you will see it that no. These are the people. And family. somebody will fall sick. You go to hospital, you say, don't come near. You don't have any grudge with the person. But you say, don't come near. Then you know something is happening. Somebody will wake up in the morning, is a friend of you. Come and knock and start fighting unnecessarily. I know it is out of this. Ah, <laughs> but you didn't mention anybody's name. So how come something has happened? Now you are there, and all of a sudden you are going blank, blank, 
like um, you cannot see anything. you cannot see anything you say what is happening is it spiritual when you call your pastor or your prophet I am telling you he's coming with olive oil mm -hmm. olive oil that we used to fry egg mm -hmm. you know egg yeah good he's coming with that one and he will pour more on you give you some to drink which is even uh, physically or scientifically not good to the eye too mm -hmm. it will still destroy you and pray with all the tongues i speak tongues i pray this is a church but when it comes to i have problem i have this is practical it is not tongues no <laughs> the christianity is about practical mm -hmm. jesus met the blind Bartimeo. he didn't pray he said oh you do you want to see he said yes he spit on the floor and used the clay over it. Practical and it works. Mm, mm. But he himself wants to boost his spirit. He goes to pray. Yeah. Yes. Mm. When you go to Exodus, when Amalekites were and Israelites were fighting, Moses didn't pray. Moses told He and Aaron, wait for me. Because Amalekai were winning the Israelites. When he went to the mountain, he lifts up his hands. Mm -hmm. Practica. Mm. Mm. Okay. So the person is going blind. Quickly divide this one into two. Tell the person to close his or her eyes. Now, if the person too has gone blind, maybe uh, one week, one month, and then they check at the hospital, the senses are working. Sometimes the senses died. Okay. That one it will not work. Mm. It is working, but doctors don't figure out why, why it, it is cannot happening see. like that. Let the person close the eye. Mm -hmm. Close it very well. Use this one to rub the eye. Rub the eye. Immediately tell the person to open the eye. The person will see instantly. Wow. Because I know even the ordinary uh, onion, mm. when you are preparing food with it in the kitchen, yes. sometimes the small cutting, it affects it your affect eye. your eye. You cannot even see. Yes. The eye will be uh, putting, uh, putting out water like that. Yes. But we feel, hey, but that is even better to the eye. When that thing happens to you? That is even best to the eye. Why is it best? <laughs> because it's painful. Yeah, yes. You see tears coming out yes. of your eye like you that. You see, it will bring out every sickness out. It will ooze up every sickness. Wow. This is onion. Now, onion has, you see, the layers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It has everything in this world here. Every information in this world. It has it here. If you want to consult so many centuries, mm -hmm. Whatever kit is onion, number two, stone, number three, water, a flowing water or river. Mm -hmm. Those are the material or things God made in a way that they have kept the histories in the archives, mm -hmm. in the centuries. Mm -hmm. So onion is also one. Now onion like this, even this one practically, if maybe uh, you've ironed your dress and there's some kind of stain on it. Mm -hmm. If you use the onion, this thing too, it takes it off. I see. The same onion, this thing, if it is rust, onion, it takes it off. Onion, it's very powerful. Is it a spiritually good and physically good? Why has this been kept away from humanity? Yeah. And maybe known to few people like you? It is not kept away from humanity. It is humanity that is running away from it. We that is not. denying it. We are not ready to get this. Yes. Because what I'm teaching now, some reflex. Somebody will tell you, this is uh, devilish. This is bad. Mm. Jesus came to die for us. Mm -hmm. We just have to lift up our hands mm -hmm. and declare our sin before him. Mm. The person has forgotten that. Jesus said, carry your own cross and follow me. <laughs> I see. Are you getting me? I get you. And he didn't understand the fact that I didn't say even bring this, even though some people come for help. But this one I didn't say bring to me. I didn't say come and take my I'm selling onion. So come and buy that one. And no it's only that one that is going to work. Mm. Which is telling you that let me try. And if it works, then it is true. It is not anything. And this one, it is not made by any human being. It is God. It is God. Yeah, there's a natural product. It's a natural thing. Mm. Mm. This is what we need to do. Now, anybody that is lying down sick, they have used several medicines in a hospital or anywhere. 
It's a nurse listening to me. And the medicine they used to heal the same sickness years back or months back, mm -hmm. they use the same uh, uh, antidote, but it's not working. Just get on your like this. When the person sleeps, you put it at the side of the head of the person before you continue to give the person medicine. I give you one week. The medicine will work speedily. And this is even for those who are in the medical field. Yes. If you are treating someone and the person is not responding, just put the onion. Don't give him to drink. Yes. When he sleep, the head, the, where the pillow, the pillow is, is, put it at the side. It makes it go on. Now, some reflex. Mm. Money. Money, Sika. Mm -hmm. It's a spirit. Mm. It's a spirit. Now, because it passes through the hands of a lot of people and there are spirits who uses the money mm -hmm. and people who is giving you the money pray over the money chant do certain rituals that when the money goes come back again so when you get the money what do you happen the money is trying to run away from you <laughs> <laughs> so our elders what they do is that they those stand they don't buy a Chrysler, Rolls Royce, mm. their, their glory is to marry plenty wives mm. and have big farm. Mm. <laughs> that is what takes that they are rich. Yeah. But today, the glory is in uh, maybe the material things like uh, uh, cars houses, and then the, uh, the, cars, the rest. Yeah. Yes. Now, why don't we go back and see what our forefathers are doing? Good. It is not anything that is wrong. Some are correct, our forefathers. Mm -hmm. The ones that are wrong, we leave it. We take the correct one. Any other will tell you that before, they used to burn the skin of onion. Mm -hmm. In fact, any woman that is listening to me today and will cook for the husband, the onion that the husband gives her money, she buy, and then she does not burn the skin of the onion. She put it in water and throw it away. You know, normally we throw this in yeah, away. Yeah. That woman is not fit to be under the marriage. That woman is supposed to be sacked. Wait, wait. I, I want to understand this very well because uh, we have all seen this. <laughs> we have all seen this happening. <laughs> My wife, mm. the money that I gave to her to go and buy onion to cook for me. Yes, food. Yes. This thing and that. It's fat, onion to its fat. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. If she peels the onion and she throws this one away. In water and throw it away. Uh, okay, she didn't know. Yes. But if you inform her uh -huh. and she's continued to throw it away, no, that woman is not good to be a, a wife. If she doesn't know, that's okay. Yes. But if after watching today's video, mm -hmm. she still does that, yes. that means she's not a good wife. No. She's killing you. She's killing your pocket. Why? She's destroying your pocket. Why is it like that? Okay. So... Sammy Flesh, we will do it if you have a brother and he has a wife. Mm -hmm. Let your wife be doing this after one onion. You should burn it. You should burn it. Yes. Then the other one should do it. Then be in the same business and work. And I give you one year and see your change. Oh, no. Let me give you three months and you see the transformation. And you, your, your brother will sack the wife. <laughs> <laughs> this is practical. It's not going to come matter. This is practical. So after peeling the onion, yes. they should always burn it. Oh, yes, you have your fire. Just drop it in so that the smoke will take over the room, the kitchen. That's all. Don't throw it away. If you put it, one day, throw it away, you are deep, you are, you are killing your husband's pocket. Wherever that money is coming from, you fight hard before getting the money. You'll be struggling before getting more money. But when you burn onion, if you burn, listen to the scent, it smells like new money, new money from bank. If you burn it, check the smell and see. So if you are burning it, wherever that money comes from before buying this one, it come back again in double fold. Mm, I see. So how about the men? Can the men also do it themselves? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yes, uh, they can. Maybe if they go to the kitchen, they see onion there, can they also peel it and burn it? They can burn it. They can burn it. Wh who, whoever money buys that onion, the money goes to that pocket. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, the money that bought the onion. Good. At every point in time, the onion peel is burned. Yes. The money returns. Yes. But even, even, sometimes market women throw this thing away. Yeah. So sometimes I go to the market and I say, let me buy this. They say, ah, this one we don't buy. This one is even rubbish. Call it on and go. 
I collect it and then I go. I pray over it and I burn it. Now, it takes over my room. It takes over my body. What it means is that I am getting more money. So you should not just burn it anywhere. You should burn it in your room. In your room. Don't burn it outside. No. Not on the compound. No. Burn it in your room. If maybe the compound is yours, mm -hmm. then yes. Oh, but okay. if you're living in a rented and everybody, no. You are helping other people too. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so if the compound is yours, that one you can burn it anywhere. Why not? Okay. Why not? But if it is a like the rented compound, yeah. then you have to make sure it is in your room. That's all. So it is the smell that does the magic. That's all. And this thing I'm telling you, my church member is by practica. Eh? They, they are doing it, and once you start to do it, somebody who has not gotten money. Once you start doing this, you realize that the week you start doing it will be better than the previous week. Mm, and your work will also be... Yes, yeah, so it's practical. Do it and then you see. Is there any other thing we have to know about the onion before we close this? A session? woman who's uh, uh, having this kind of, uh, you know, the, 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 the female part, the mm -hmm. female organ, mm -hmm. who has um, this kind of, uh, uh, how do you call it? These diseases. Mm -hmm. Maybe white, mm -hmm. uh, all kind of, you know, yeah. they have some things for Discharges it. and, yeah. Good. If you are listening to me, just, just do this. I know that this woman have identified that it is a devil. She slept with a, a, a man mm -hmm. and the man gave her that and she has gone to Atua Mountain. Mm -hmm. A prophet prophesies, mm -hmm. pray down. Mm, you don't need any prophet to pray. Oh, no, 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 no. This all is, you need is the onion. The only thing you need, maybe the prophet, you know, when he has idea of this practical, she pray for you and then he gives you the practical thing. Look, blend this onion. Blend this one. Or a woman that even menstruation sees for about a week, a month, two months, and she's scared. That she's pregnant. Blend this. Uh, oh, she's not even pregnant. Uh -huh. But the menstruation stops okay. at early age. Okay. Blend this onion. Get your part. Mm -hmm. Put it inside. Spread it inside. When you're going to sleep, wear it. Wow. Tomorrow morning, what you see will scare you. You will be scared. You will run away. You will shout. Mm. Things that it will bring from your system. You will do it the following day. The third day, the fourth day. You are clean to go. So you have to do it for four continuous days. Yes. You just blend it and your pad. You just put a little bit of the onion mm, on your pad. Yes. You just sleep. Wait. The sleep. next morning you see things. Ah. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> and everything will be fine. I'm telling you. This is the magic that onion has. That everybody must know. And all these years it has been hidden from us. Yeah. Because we are not looking for knowledge. Oh, yes. Before I do all these things, mm. because I am getting this knowledge from you, mm. if I talk to you, mm. would it be good? Oh, oh, yes. That's the work I do. Mm. But you see, my understanding is that me, I started, I, when I started this work, it's not long. Mm -hmm. And everybody is going different direction. Mm. And everybody with the call that he mm. has. Mm. My call is to teach humanity. Mm -hmm. So they understand that this kind of hey, 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 no. But it is something that I got deposited in natural stuff that I expect them to use. Okay. But they are not using. Mm. So if you call me, fine enough. If you come, fine enough. But with, with this... You don't even need. If you are, you get understanding. You know. You don't need to call. Yeah, because if you come to me, mm. some flesh, mm. maybe you may pay something or certain things like that. That is me to my work. Mm -hmm. But I teach this uh, so that one, you have been to so many places. Mm -hmm. So don't take me as one of them. Mm -hmm. So if I'm showing this and you are able to do, and then it is coming in. Then, if you have something like epilepsy, mm -hmm. ah, you know, God can through me heal your epilepsy for you. Mm, mm, mm. Are you getting me? I get it. If now. I say come, come, no. Okay. Even on radio, everywhere, I don't say. People who comes, some of you see my church when they come the first day, they come and then they, I did your this and then I got this, I had this. They come with testimony. Okay. Yes. Mm.
So even after doing this, mm. if you get results and you have any other problem, yes. you can call and share with me. Yes. Okay. I get yes. it now. Or we will continue as you continue to come. We will do more videos. If you have any of your problem, mm -hmm. why not? You just have to come. You do it. Bishop Sam David, what is that number that they can call if they have other problems even okay. beyond what you've said? Okay. The number is 0591 mm -hmm. 659 mm -hmm. 608. Mm. 0591-659-608 and I'm your Tigo so I have Tigo also 027-43-56-566 mm -hmm. now uh, brother Sam always subscribe that those that are around Ghana mm -hmm. if you need problem if your problem is big and you know mm -hmm. you come because okay. people are many mm. so you come to my place okay it is Wednesdays and Sunday Okay. Sansam Junction. Mm. You Sam come. Sam Junction. Yes, seven thirty morning. You okay. come. Mm -hmm. But those outside mm -hmm. can add plus two three three and mm -hmm. remove the zero, mm -hmm. and then they will get me. Okay. Uh, those people can send maybe WhatsApp messages. Okay. Because their place is very far. I know. So I can respond, and then we see how we can then fix out it. But Ghana, who, oh, whatever. I know your, your station go very far. I know. You have to just come. Mm. Uh, so that you don't block the chance of our sisters, our brothers outside also. Okay. So yes. those who are outside, they can always work with you through the phone. Exactly. But if you're in Ghana, you can move to Accra, Samsung Junction. Um, that is on the Media Road. Uh, yes, Media Road. Okay. Yes. Pokwa, between Pokwasen and then uh, Sam, uh, and Sawum. Okay. Yes. Between Pokwasi and Samu. Good. You just ask of Sam Sam Junction. That's all. And you will get the direction to Bishop Sam De Bishop Sam David. Yes. That is the church. Mm. The the name of the church once again is Solution Center and Herbal Church. Solution Center and Herbal Church. Yes. So this onion, mm. is it the onion in any part of the world mm. or the onion from maybe Africa? Okay. It, uh, now we have this kind of uh, 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 chemicalized this thing. Mm. That mm. one is bad. Mm. So I'm talking about is organic. Organic. The organic. original onion. Whatever part you are, once it is original, that's all. Even if I don't forget, uh, Sammy Flex, mm -hmm. with this one, mm -hmm. if you have you you have gotten money, mm -hmm. you take loan. Mm -hmm. Every money you invest, you invest your. Uh, uh, your your your, your even business uh -huh. you get lost mm -hmm. this time if you have two businesses in mind i want to tell you what god is telling you to do mm -hmm. so with this one don't ask any profit you just cut the onion like this you write business one uh, traveling to dubai mm -hmm. on piece of paper use this you wrote it here do it here then you creep it like this uh okay doing pure water business <laughs> put it here uh, do it like this. Mm -hmm. Go and put it under your bed or where darkness is. Seven days come. One will be developing. One will not develop. That is the business you have to do. That's the business you have to do. So all the business that you want to try. Yes. You just write them on if paper. If it is 10, you just write them on paper. Mm -hmm. Paste it on it. Mm -hmm. Put it in a dark place. Mm -hmm. The angel on this one so will come it, and answer you. in a dark place for seven days. Seven days. That's all. Hmm. And when you involve in that business, you are never going to lost. So when you come, what should you see? Um, the paper that had the, what should you see? You will see that one is developing. It's growing. It's, it's growing, germinating. Oh, okay. Because okay. the others are dead. The one that will germinate. That is your that business. business. <laughs> yes. All right. So today we've gotten knowledge. I know you have been throwing your onion away all the time. Sometimes the one you even keep in your kitchen, when they get spoiled, you just throw them away. You have to use it efficiently. You have to use it profitably because we have knowledge now. Maybe you never knew. You didn't know. But after watching this video with Bishop Sam David, now you know. If it doesn't work, call and he will surely give you something that you are going to get some knowledge, some profit from this. Until today, you have to call us any day, anytime, and you are going to get your solution. We are out of here.